And welcome to day 40 of the Atlantic Hurricane season, day number 58 in the Eastern Pacific and we currently have two tropical systems, tropical cyclones that are active. Uh, we did have three until um, sometime yesterday when um, Eric turned into a remnant low off the coast of the Bay of California Peninsula in Mexico. Tropical Storm Chantal still going in the Atlantic or indeed still going strong as a 65 mile per hour tropical storm could intensify further yet. And uh, Typhoon Sulik which is, well, doing fairly well as a Category 4 storm in the Western Pacific and obviously that could be a very dangerous situation for parts of the uh, Asian continent in the next few days uh, particularly the Miyako and Yayama Islands in the Japan's um, Wikiu Islands area and also for Taiwan and China um, as the storm moves through that area in the next two or three days time um, in the Atlantic Ocean here's Chantal that's quite uh, an old image actually but it does go to show how fast Chantal is moving. It's in the Eastern Caribbean now, but this picture was taken only 12 hours ago. Um, Chantal moving fairly quickly towards the west-northwest at the moment. And in the uh, Indian Ocean, things fairly quiet at the moment. We did have an Invest, Invest 98S, which is st that's still there, that central feature um, near, the, um, near the island in the center of the Indian Ocean. I think it's Diego Garcia, and the storm's expected to not develop over the next uh, few days. Let's look at the sea surface temperatures then, uh, the coast off the Mexican coastline um, in the eastern Pacific still fairly warm here, 28 to 30 degrees though where Eric is what's left of it, um, certainly not um, conditions that are favourable for tropical storm development. Where Chantal is headed, water's looking fairly good here, 28 degrees or higher along pretty much its whole route along its forecast track at the moment and in the uh, western Pacific as well, fairly similar, 30 degree waters generally where Sulik is currently located and where it's headed as well towards the west northwest at the moment. Tropical storm Chantal and 65 mile per hour winds, 1006 millibars, 15.4 degrees north, 64.9 degrees west. Expected to move towards the west northwest and then curve slowly towards the north over the next um, few days. Now um, it's moved slightly towards the west of previous uh, track forecasts, so that means that Haiti is more in this spotlight as well, uh, as well as western, uh, eastern Cuba rather, um, the Bahamas and indeed the uh, eastern coast of Florida as well uh, which could get a tropical storm landfall perhaps um, the way things are going. Tropical storm warnings in effect for Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Haiti, Turks and Caicos Islands and the southeastern Bahamas. Hurricane watch in effect for parts of the Dominican Republic and we also have a tropical storm watch in effect for the US Virgin Islands, via Quest Culebra, uh, part of the Puerto Rico and uh, the central Bahamas as well and those watches and warnings may be extended at any time so make sure you check the website for updates on that more towards the end of the uh, video how you can get in touch on the website. Uh, Typhoon Sulik as well, currently with winds of 130 miles per hour. Uh, could be even higher now by the way because this was at 9 o'clock UTC. It's currently um, 12 o'clock UTC as of the narrating time and is expected to continue as a Category 4 storm probably peaking as a high-end Cat 4 storm as well um, before starting to weaken after it passes the uh, Yayama and Mayaka Islands and possibly get very close to the northern tip of um, Taiwan as well as a Category 3 storm before eventually making its final landfall in China as a weaker typhoon uh, but still uh, certainly a cause for concern with that one. Looking at the uh, imagery for Chantal then you can see here um, it's been moving towards the west northwest certainly not um, the nicest looking storm you could say I suppose um, to move towards the west northwest there in that imagery um, and here's the western pacific wide view showing um, typhoon Sulik developing over the past 24 hours and you can see its intensification has been fairly quick the eye getting more and more developed initially starting out ragged and now um, appearing more circular and more rounded um, in the last few frames of that one there certainly showing a strong storm indeed and here we also have the close-up view of Typhoon Sulik here, the infrared imagery first of all as it moves towards the west-northwest, certainly um, strengthening in those last few frames um, with the eye certainly getting more wider as well. Um, so that means an eyewall replacement cycle may not be too far away and that might provide a bit of relief um, if it does happen at a key point um, when it approaches land. Looking at the um, current model runs then, you can see the CMC first of all taking Chantal on a quite interesting route through the Bahamas making landfall in um, on the Georgia South Carolina border as it, at its peak intensity and then moving towards the southwest towards the end there the ECMWF model you can't really see much going on in this one um, at the moment you can see um, not too much Chantal possibly moving towards the north after passing the Bahamas um, that's what I could gather from that one at least anyway. The GFS model, a little bit more clear, has quite a weak storm moving through Cuba and then passing Florida, moving towards the uh, uh, north-northeast and then probably making landfall in South Carolina and then moving inland, which is interesting as well. 
The NavGen model actually has the storm moving on the west coast of Florida, through the Florida Keys, and then into the um, Gulf of Mexico. So that would be a very interesting scenario if that one occurs. The GFDM model takes um, Chantal through uh, Hispaniola as a tropical storm, and then moving through the Bahamas, and then out to sea a little bit, and then into the border with South and North Carolina, as eventually as a tropical storm. Another interesting scenario there. The HWRF model as well takes the storm um, through the Bahamas and then into the Florida Georgia border um, as a tropical storm there you can see there. The uh, computer models then this is the uh, more static view for those who are fans of static imagery um, you can see quite a split here once the storm passes Cuba um, sorry um, Dominican Republic and Haiti um, moving through Cuba most of them now um, both, though some say the Bahamas some go towards the Gulf of Mexico so that's an interesting scenario at the moment most of them going through the Bahamas it has to be said the CMC model then for the Western Pacific has a strong Sulik moving into Taiwan and then into China and then another storm forming near the Philippines as well at the end of that run the GFS takes it further north just off the northern tip of Taiwan it does look more likely that Taiwan will at least get some typhoon conditions um, from this storm Sulik and China of course will probably get typhoon conditions um, regardless of whatever happens in Taiwan um, so it certainly seems like um, a developing situation there looking at the overall prediction scores then for July the 10th Ken with 79 points, Typhoon Belper with 71 and William with 71 points as well that's the top three at the moment a few movements here and there and a few more movements probably likely uh, should Chantal become a hurricane or indeed if any other storms form you can submit your own storm totals at the website force13.com forward slash interactive just click the 2013 sub, uh, predictor season button and then you should find it fairly easy enough um, fairly easy to do submitting the totals and uh, it should be put up on the leaderboard in due course but do be quick about it because the scores do go down as time goes on so what happened on this day then for July the 10th 1960 Hurricane Abbey formed near the Lesser Antilles and made landfall in St Lucia as a category 1 storm 6 fatalities and $435,000 of damages in 1975 Tropical storm Eleanor formed in the Eastern Pacific. In 1978, tropical storm Amelia dissipated in the Eastern Pacific as well. And in 1981, this one's picture, tropical storm Dora formed in the Eastern Pacific on this day. In 1984, Hurricane Fausto dissipated in the Eastern Pacific. In 1987, tropical storm Calvin also dissipated there. In 1990, tropical storm Genevieve formed in the Eastern Pacific. That one was pictured there. In 1992, tropical storm Darby dissipated in the Eastern Pacific. And in 1995, tropical storm Barry made landfall in Nova Scotia as a tropical storm on this day. July the 10th, that one was pictured as well there. In 2003, tropical storm Enrique formed in the Eastern Pacific. Hurricane Dennis made landfall in Florida as a Category 3 storm. In 2006, uh, that was in 2005. In 2006, tropical storm Erinia made landfall in South Korea, causing 36 fatalities. That one's pictured there just before landfall. And in 2009, tropical storm Carlos formed in the Eastern Pacific. Uh, that's not all of them. There were one or two that were missed out, just to, so that it could fit on the uh, imagery there. But that will be—you'll uh, be able to see that on the website, on the home page, on this day feature is updated every day on there as well. Don't forget, you can track any storm that forms, or indeed any that are ongoing, like the current ones we have, Chantal and Sioux League, at the website force13.com forward slash storm tracking dot html. That's the uh, main storm, storm tracking page where you have the overview map, and at the top and bottom the the um, tables which show which storms are active and um, what warnings are in effect at a glance and then you can go further in depth basin by basin to see which storms are going where the um, uh, the tracking maps with uh, the warning information overlaid on that as well which is quite cool to see um, so they check those out and um, those are updated more often than these videos come out so it's probably a good idea to do that with the current um, warnings that are currently going on at the moment and uh, don't forget you can visit the uh, social pages as well YouTube Facebook and Twitter force 13 is on all three of those on th all three of those are mediums um, and don't forget to uh, show your support by liking favoriting commenting subscribing or something else that I've missed out favoriting I don't know I don't know what I said um, but there you have it um, and I do appreciate every um, every positive remark that is made on all the videos. Um, sometimes I don't comment on all of them just to uh, I don't want to appear as if I'm commenting on everything like some sort of person who clings on to every comment but there you have it. Uh, but if you do have a um, question I'll get back to that on the uh, YouTube videos just send in your comment and I'll get back to it by comment or by private message. The next bulletin will be coming up um, bulletin number 40 that will be July the 11th um, at midnight UTC Thursday morning and uh, with updates in between for both Chantal and Sulik during the day on Wednesday, July the 10th. But that's it for now.